My name is William Sitwell. I'm a food writer and critic. Someone who strikes fear in the hearts of the best chefs in the country. William Sitwell. Is this your idea of lunch? Maybe you think that a baguette tastes better when you walk. I think the world has gone mad. How relevant is Michelin? Does everyone going out for a nice meal want to have a sort of Ponzi style of service with a lobster velouté with hand smoked seared scallops on oat smoked whatever it is? And I'm peeling nuts and no one seems to want to talk to me. I can't whistle down the high street going through a market with a basket under my arm. You know, that's reality. Something like that from a small independent bakery creates more jobs per loaf than something like that. Yeah, this is Marxism. You're sounding like sort of Soviet-style communists. Do you think Alan de Cassie's restaurant at the Dorchester is cooking better food than any other? And here's another leading voice in a food magazine. Worst meal so far this year. Actually, make that ever. Well, uh, that was written by me. I, I've been quite rude about that restaurant in print. You were the youngest ever British chef to win three Michelin stars. Winning three stars is one thing. Proving that you can retain them is another. Should I sit down and eat it, or do you think it tastes better if I walk around? Warming the hand. Walking around, yeah? yeah? OK, I'll try and walk around. Thanks. <laughs> I blame the Romans for this. If I was a psychologist, I'd put you on the couch, and I'd say, forget this crazy obsession with foodie nostalgia. Let it go. And sometimes it's difficult for me because I'm alone. Can you tell me what happened on the day that he died? He went to his rest in the afternoon, like every day. And did you find him? I did, yeah. Fortunately, and not my cheap one. Frog's legs with parsley and garlic, and it's just fantastic, and it's simple. And these are the finest grown-up lollipops known to man. So loosen the straitjacket of sticky buns and stodgy pies for a delicious future. Your food culture needs you.